Hello, this is Mary Jo Morgan with Fred's Used Websites, and this video will show you how to insert and modify positioned elements, and also to uh, apply customized attributes to them. So first, you can see I'm already logged in. Whenever logout is an option, that means you're logged in. It's just a good way to check. I'm going to go ahead and go into the body of this page. As you can see, I've loaded it here with some dummy text. It's just some lorem ipsum. I stuck a couple of photographs in there, and I put more margin on the top and on the bottom than on the side, just so you can see how this will work and how it will happen. I want to make a point that this paragraph is an element. Likewise, a photograph is an element. So you can format and apply attributes to elements, whether it's just a paragraph of text or it's an image. Right now my cursor is right here in this paragraph of text. And as I move down on the page so you can see the editor, I'm going to widen this a little bit so you can see more of it at one time. Look at the bottom row here of icons. You'll see two that both indicate something to do with elements. The first one has a little star in the upper right hand corner. It's a rectangle. Looks like a picture or an element. And that inserts a new element. The one right next to it with a little pencil Indica the pencil, of course, indicates editability on anything on the website. Therefore, this gives you an opportunity to add attributes or edit an element that's already placed. I had my cursor in the middle of that paragraph, which is an element, so I'm going to edit that element that I already have in here. And I want you to notice that you can see the red line around this paragraph. You can't see the whole thing, but you can see that it is the paragraph and it is the editor is seeing it indeed as an element. All I want to do here is apply attributes and on this particular website some of the attributes that we have preset is either to make it magenta or green, which are two of the main colors of this particular website. So what I'm going to do is just click on the magenta and you can see now the preset here is a magenta background with white text and these rounded corners. So that's how to set off a, pa a paragraph of text by using these presets. I'm going to cancel out of that and we're going to go back in and I want to show you how to add a different kind of preset. Once again, I'm going to put my cursor on a paragraph, but this time I'm going to add a new element. And the pre-select that I'm going to insert is a green block with an image. I'm going to position this green block floated to the left. And you can sort of see it here. It ends up underneath another element that I have right here, this photo. So one of the things that I can do is down here at the bottom it says clear float and this is another floated element. I'm going to say clear it to the left. And I'm going to guess that I want this somewhere about um, 275 pixels wide. I'm going to insert it. Now you can see that this has a photograph here already in the preset because we wanted to show that you could put your own photograph right there. You're going to replace this with your own title. You're going to put text in here you could also click on the element again and edit it 
and give it a margin, I would say, side by side. The top is fine, the bottom is fine, but on the right, let's give it about 15 pixels. And there you've moved that text over so it's not right up against the edge of this element. And you go ahead and submit that change. And there you have the element with attributes and inserted in the page. That's it.